enjoyed coming over here. It's been first class the entire time, uh, start to finish since we got here. And I know there's a lot of people involved in that. And I'd like to thank everybody involved, the NFL and the NFL UK. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll open up for questions. Yeah, Coach, could uh, you discuss the game Kyle Pitts had today? Yeah, he, Kyle stepped up, um, him and Patterson both. Like I said, uh, you know, we'll continue to evolve offensively, and uh, it was good. He, he won his one-on-one -on -one matchups. He made some big-time plays for us. And like I said, it's a long game. Everybody wants the hot take after week one, and you got to see continual improvement. And it's, that's why Kyle's here. Uh, we like the player that he's becoming, and we'll, he'll continue to improve. And the 39-yarder uh, there, they, they get close, and uh, it looked like they, they, they bit on some underneath stuff, play action. He was able to get open deep. Was that, uh, you know, man, make the right call on that and get y'all that drive started? Oh, yeah, he made the right decision. D led. We're not going to sit here and play in our fears. And so, you know, you learn. I was pissed at myself from last week. And, you know, the worst thing, I'll make plenty of mistakes, but I try not to make the same mistake twice. So we're not going to live in our fears. We're going to be aggressive when we need to be. And, and credit to the, you know, it was a good blocking up front. We didn't give up any sacks today against a really good front. And I want the guys to have initiative. And Matt launched it, and, and it was a big time play. We needed some momentum. We weren't going to sit back and play, uh, you know, two yards in a cloud of dust. So we'll continue to improve. We got plenty of things to improve on. The kicking game, the turnovers, uh, but I'm really pleased with our team and our team's effort. And the defense uh, overall, how did they play? Uh, late DPI, that you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna walk me into that one. Um, I have to look at the tape. I thought our defense played pretty well. Uh, they knocked them back in the run game, made the plays they needed to. Those you know late stats, the checkdowns and stuff. That's what you got to do. That's four minute defense. You can pad the stats there. Our defense played, I thought, pretty well all day. It's a big time stadium and atmosphere. Like I said, we love coming over here. Um, like I said, I, I think it's spectacular. The whole, the whole environment since we've been here, we got treated so well. Our operations team, along with, with everybody, they work together over here. Unbelievable stadium and great atmosphere. We're happy to be part of it. Coach, uh, Cordell uh, Patterson had a pretty good game today, especially when he picked up on that fourth and one early first quarter, your first scoring drive. That was key. Yeah, so you got your uh, Tennessee hat on oh, for, for, for a yeah, CP? Ah, uh, yeah. No, he uh, you had two of them out there. You had Colquitt, too. Um, no, CP, he, he continues to, to help us move the, move the ball in a number of ways. Like I said, I thought today he stepped up big, made a number of plays, running the ball, uh, receiving. Good player. Continued to hopefully help us improve on offense. That's really kind of twofold there. Uh, you're going to deal with injuries. Things are going to come up during the NFL season, and that ball is going to get kicked off on Sunday. Whether well, we're playing in London, Barcelona, Frankfurt, Atlanta, doesn't matter. New Orleans will be there, and we'll be ready to go. And we, we expect the next guys to step up. Same thing happened, unfortunately, with Isaiah Oliver. We had a, a mid injury, uh, midweek injury to Avery Williams. We're not going to sit here and the next guys step up. I thought Darren Hall, Richie Grant did a heck of a job today playing different roles, and we, we just got to find a way. And that's the kind of the what we want our ethos to be, stand up in tough times and continue to evolve and improve. Coach, uh, my Ryan, I had a today. How good has he been? I mean, there's nothing more you can say, but how good has he been over the last couple weeks? Yeah, I, I love working with Matt Ryan. You know, it's, you, you just you don't get many opportunities to work with players like that. And you throw for 5,000 completions in this league, and I believe he's one of seven. Guys that do that, it's pretty damn special. Uh, he's a leader of this football team. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough good things about Matt. Hey, Coach, what do you think about Oh, yeah, all those guys. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, they continue to improve. We've got some really good veteran leadership, guys that got, got here uh, that are new to this team. And it, it's a great mix. It's a great mix of guys. You've got some really good leaders in the, in the back end with Eric Harris and Teron. And Grady, uh, they continue to help those young guys, and that's what you want to see. You want you, you know you want your leaders to be your be teachers too, and our guys do that. Lee Smith, uh, Jake Matthews, and it helps. And that's those young guys get confidence. And and uh, really pleased with Ade. Obviously, Jalen Mayfield, he continues to to improve. Uh, you know, you play every snap when you're an offensive lineman. That's an underrated position. Maybe I have a little bias towards, um, but happy with him. Obviously, Kyle, Richie, all those guys, Darren Hall, Avery. 
Keep naming them. I mean, Dorian and Etheridge, I mean, the guy that plays on special teams, we've used Felipe. Really happy with our young guys. Yeah, and so, you know, a lot of it, just by, we, we have a plan for Richie, and as he was evolving, and it happened to be his number got called this week, but we got a lot of confidence in him. He's a good football player, and it was naturally going to happen. It got expedited because of the injuries, and he stepped up. He's another fearless guy that we like, that a young guy to build around. Uh, yeah, he's, he just got evaluated, uh, you know, until we get back to Atlanta and our doctors evaluate all our guys. It's hard for me to comment on the injuries. Uh, I thought Fabian played a, a heck of a game. Uh, he's another guy that's here that's a veteran. It's a quiet professional. Enjoy working with Fabian. Anything else? All right, appreciate it. Thank you all.